Hi everybody, welcome to my floss tube. My name is Doreen and my business is Privies and Prims and I am so glad you're here. So to all those that are new, welcome, welcome. And to those that are returning, welcome back. So let's get to it. My channel is mostly about punch needle and cross stitch with a main focus on cross stitch. Uh, I have a little bit of both to show you today, mostly cross stitch, but I have a tiny bit of punch needle to show you. So I am, I'm gonna start with that. I am a model puncher for someone and um, for the shepherd's needle, but these are patterns that I, I believe are just for her personally. So I just finished this with a needle and thread and it is called Fun in the Snow. And this is the finish. Now I just um, punch it and then I turn the back here and glue it just on this edge, not out here in case she wants to sew it to something. And then I'll send this back to her and she will um, put it on something as a final finish. But that is one that I just did. Now that is DMC, six strands of DMC with an ultra punch set on number one and I use the medium tip. So that is how I do that. And then this one um, uses, I just started this one and this one calls for over dyed and I will show you my progress on this. I didn't get a lot done. I just worked on it one night, um, but it does call for gentle arts, weak dye works and a little bit of DMC, but mostly the, um, let me put something behind it. So this is all I have done on that so far. I just did the one color and well, and the black. And then it was bedtime. So this again is six strands. It is the over dyed, but it's still six strands, except the black is DMC. And uh, again, on the medium tip, set on number one. Now, sometimes patterns will tell you to different settings, like for the mustache or the beard to make it stand out a little more. And um, that gives it some dimension. So that is it. For the punch needle and then we're going to carry on and I have a lot of stuff to talk about on cross stitch. So um, I do have um, a winner. Now last month it was I did a drawing for this pattern from Rhonda on Asbury's Echoes and I'll show you the see the little robin there. So I showed this on my last floss too but just in case you're new this is the finish for that. And uh, so that is the only one I'm doing from the pattern. And I did this on the Nate Berkus upholstery linen. And you can see there are some thick threads going through that. I think you can see it. Anyway, it's available at Tawans. The last time I saw it, it was $24.99 a yard and it's 54 inches wide. I'm not sure if it's still um, at that price or not because it's regularly like $50. So anyway, I had... Um, done a giveaway for this like a month ago, I think. And the person I've said their name and it, they have not claimed it after two tries. So I redrew another name and from that same video. So the, the winner of this is Kathy Newhart, six, seven, three, eight. So get in touch with me, Kathy, if you're interested uh, or whether you're interested or not, I guess you are. Cause you put your, um, the keyword, which was spring and, um, Anybody else, you can go to Rhonda's um, Etsy shop. She has a YouTube and she has Etsy shop and Instagram and Facebook. So you can get that on her Etsy shop. Um, it's got the three patterns in there. And I think it's $12, but I'm not sure. But so the winner, again, get in touch with me and I will send this to you. It's a PDF. It's Kathy Newhart 6738. And I will get to the other giveaway later on. So um, I'm going to show you my whips and then I have something to talk about that's going to go with the channel here and how I need your help or not with the channel with the title of the video. So I have a complete finish. Well, I said whips. So let me show you the whip first. I have one because I'm a monogamous stitcher. Well, I have the punch needle whip. So I guess I have two. All right. So this is what I am working on. And this is going to go with what I need your help for, but this is Stitch Every Day, it's called, and it's hands-on design. And I think I bought this 
at the hodgepodge shop in um, Strasbourg last year, either hodgepodge or stitches unlimited in Lancaster. But um, so I obviously haven't done it yet, but this is my whip and it is currently staying in this gorgeous bag with Teresa Kogut fabric, Stitchy Birds, I think it's called. And this is made by um, Dot Dot Goose on Etsy. She's on Etsy. So you can get that. And I even got to pick what color zipper I wanted. So I'm going to show you my whip on this, my progress. Now, I'm not using the called for colors. I am not using the called for fabric. I wanted it to be super prim. And this is prairie cloth that I got from Kathy Ganey. And she is on Instagram, C-A-T-H-I. And then her last name is G-I-A. G-A-I-N-E-Y. Okay. So this is what I got done yesterday in one day. And I did a little bit more. I had two more triangles of the green done, two or three. Um, but let me see how many is there. There's two. Okay, so I think I had two done and I took them out. I'm going to take those other green trees out also. It's a little bright for me. I don't want the, any brightness in this at all. I even struggled with the stars and started trying to do them in a different color, but they're not, again, they're not the called for color. They are um, DMC 644 is what I settled on, but I had stitched them in two other colors and taken them out because in this, it's kind of like a little quilt square and the star didn't show up on the, the one color was too bright, the called for color, which is the skinny dip, Weeks Dye Works skinny dip, but I was using Mm, lamb's wool, gentle arts lamb's wool, because that's what I had. I'm looking down at my paper here. And that was too white, white. And then I used um, Weeks Dye Works Sh Schneckley, I think. And it's kind of a gold, and then it blended, and you couldn't even see it. So then I tried DMC 644 and settled on that one. So this is kind of a work progress. As you go, I may change colors. Um, and when I'm finished, I will post my um, colors that I'm using. If you're interested, um, you can email me and I will let you know the colors, but we might want to wait till I'm done because I might change some other ones. But anyway, I'm going to take out that green because it's not as prim as I wanted, but I don't know. I looked at it last night in the light and it looked really bright, but today in natural light, because this is totally natural light, there's a window right here. I think it looks fine. I think it doesn't look bright at all. And that is um, DMC 730. It calls for Weeks Dye Works Moss, um, but I'm using the DMC. I need to make sure that I had enough of it because there's a lot of trees. Um, yeah, see, it's used a lot in the pattern, the green. So the other green, it actually uses two greens, and the other green I'm using is um, kudzu. I'll be using kudzu because it's prim. So I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it. Maybe I took it out too fast because I took two triangles out last night. But it looks fine in daylight, but with the light shining on it, it was really bright. So anyway, that is my work in progress. So And I will get back to this a little later when I explain the title of my video. Um, the other, I do have a fully finish and let me get this. This is the pattern. And again, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, which you should, I post out just about every day what I'm working on, especially on Facebook. It's previews and prims on Facebook. And sometimes I post multiple times a day. And so you would see that I had already finished this and I did not do it as a drum. I was started out to do it as a drum and I had this green kind of um, olive green kind of velvety fabric that I got. I cut up some kind of clothing like years and years ago, but kept it because I knew that I would use it for something. So I even changed. I, so you can barely see like right there. The word is like a off white. And I even changed the, the floss color for that to match the velvety color that I was going to use on top. So I used bark that if that, um, 
is it Weeks Dye Works, I think, Barp. And if you know that color, you know, like that kind of matches the dark olive green. So this is my finish. And this is that velvety fabric, but it's like a brownish, it's a very kind of dark muted green. It's like a brownish green. And then this is the bark. That's the bark thread and it matched perfectly. It's also inside here, like the outline is one color and then the bark fills in the half circles. The trim is Taupe Rick Rack by um, Purple Paper Mountain on Etsy. And this is stitched on Osnaberg, Osnaberg one over two. And when I did the bottom of this spool, I'll tell you here my mistake, which you would never know. Um, I did the bottom and then instead of counting up 24 rows, I just went from the bottom of this spool over to measure. And I did that bottom dark row right there, but I was supposed to, that was supposed to be actually the top of the spool. And instead of going down after that, I went up by mistake. So it's three rows too high. So then when I got to the tail feathers of the robin, there wasn't room to put them all. So I had to alter that, but I think it looks just fine. I don't think anybody would have even guessed it if I hadn't have told you. And I'm super happy with it. But anyway, with this being so tall and, you know, Osnaberg is 40 count one way and 32 count the other way. So depending on which way you turn it, when you start stitching, it's either going to be taller than the model um, stitch or it's going to be wider. So this one ended up being taller because I was stitching on the 40 count. And so I didn't like, uh, I didn't want to leave that whole thing, just the tan thread. So I stuck a button on there and I think it is perfect. And of course it doesn't have glass on the frame. So I was able to do that, but this frame I got for $3 at a thrift store. I did put a little bit of brown, uh, watered down brown paint on it. But other than that, that's how it came. And I'll show you the back and what was in it. And I just turned it around. So the, um, the velvety fabric is actually, I used spray adhesive and attached it to the other side of this. Now this mat board, I didn't want to try to pull it off and I didn't want to mess it up. So I figured I'd just leave it on there and uh, give it a little more personality, right? So anyway, that, I just love this one. It's one of my favorites. So if you um, want my color conversion, let me know. Um, let me see how many I changed. I may have only changed. Those are the colors I used. I hope that's clear enough. I don't know. If, there we go. I think that's more clear. If you can't read it, send me a message. But those are the colors that I used. Um, yeah, Weeks Dye Works. 1271 Bark is what I used. And instead of DMC 310, I used 3371. And instead of 3782, I used 841. Those are the only colors I changed, was those three. And sometimes I just change it because of the color of my fabric. And then if I see like the threads aren't going to show up, then I change it. So um, I did want to show you a box that I did. And this is Punch Needle. And I had talked to R uh, Rhonda at Asbury Echoes about this, and she said she wanted to see it. So this is my box. And this is from a pattern from Three Sheep Studio. And then this I just drew in myself. I did this um, custom to fit this box. And I did this back in, I want to say, 2000 and... I think 2016 maybe anyway it's I did it a while ago so this was a box I worked at a hospital gift shop and you can see it's like painted that dark red was black and little um figurines came in this like little resin angels and then it was just an unfinished bare wood box and when the angels were all sold. They, my boss took this box and threw it in the trash and I pulled it out and I said, no, no, wait, like, let me show you. I have a vision for this and I'll show you after I do it. 
and she was, and I showed her afterwards and they were like, yeah, okay. They didn't appreciate it. But anyway, you don't throw these boxes away. It's, it's solid wood. I mean, it's pine, but so I painted the bottom black. I painted the whole thing black. And then I put the dark red over it and then sanded some to distress it. And then just put a clear spray paint over it. And then this is glued on with Aileen's Tacky Glue. And this was going to be what I would carry with me when I will go um, taking my punch needle with me. Because at that time I, I did not stitch. I just did punch needle. So it kind of became a catch-all. And I have all kinds of stuff in here. But this top is, it's kind of like a black velvet. Of course, it's not real velvet, but um, that's what's on the top. And then the bottom, it's also on the bottom. But I have, I'll just say, I have my threaders in here for the punch needle, for the ultra punch. This little thing to square up my lines. I have, um, well, that did have a medium tip in it, but it's empty. I have eye drops for when my eyes get tired. I have, this is a CTR punch and I tried it one time, did not like it and never tried it again, but I have this. And I have some needles that are chenille needles. I have the large tip and an extra you know, a couple extra tips. It's probably the small and the medium and large and the extra spring for the ultra punch. So, you know, I can get a lot of stuff in here. I have a measuring tape. Um, I have foot cream. <laughs> yeah, because this would sit on the table next to my recliner. So after I got a shower, I would do, and this stuff works really good and I need to get more of it. But it's um, coconut foot cream. And it's just, I have some clothes pins that I would use for different things and some pens. I have a little thing to get the SD card out of my phone. Like I said, it just, it became the catch-all. And then I have this little ruler. So it's kind of a junk drawer. But at, when I originally did it, I would put my threads and my threader and my needle in here. And um, it would go with me when I went somewhere that I was doing stitching and this was the box that I carried everything in. So there it is again. And like I said, I just, I made it to fit and then just glued it on with Aileen's tacky glue. So that is my box. And now it just kind of sits on the shelf and I don't really use it. So I don't do punch needle that much anymore. And when I do now I have project bags. So I put it in the project bag. So. All right, I think that's all that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to get to um, the title of my video that I need your help. So this pattern, um, if you've been with me a little while, not too long, but and I showed when I would film in the other room, which is the craft room, but I put my when I put my bed back in there because it used to be in another room. But so then I had to redo that wall. So if you remember me talking about that, I had that big empty wall and I wasn't sure what to do with it. Well, I took everything off except a sign that says faith. And I left that on there just to remind me, even though it's not even centered or in place, it just reminds me to have faith. Um, so what I decided to do is I want to do that wall as a, um, going to say mirage, not a mirage, a collage of stitches that are stitch related. So this one is, I think, going to be in the center of it. And then everything will be placed around it, you know, at different heights, different sizes. So I've been hunting frames at thrift stores because everything will be framed, I think, unless I find something really unique. But, um, so this is going to be the center of that collage and then, and it's pretty big. So then um, I will put everything else around it. So what I have here that I'm going to show you is all the patterns that I have that are stitch related. And I think there's maybe about 17 of them, give or take one or two. But what I need your help with is if you know of more 
stitch related patterns that I don't have that I don't show you, would you please um, let me know in the comments what pattern they are and who the designer is so that I can look them up. Now I'm not specifically looking just for sewing ones, but actually things that have to do with stitching. And I do have a few, I have four on a list um, that I already am looking for. And someone is sending me one that she has finished with. And then when I'm finished with it, I will pass it on as either a bingo prize or a door prize at the next retreat in September. So if you're, if you have one and you're finished with it and you'd love to pass it on, I would love to be the receiver of that. And then when I'm finished with it, I can pass it on to someone else. Um, otherwise, if you have one and you want to sell it, um, let me know if you want to share it. If you don't and you want to keep it, just leave in the comment. Let me know what it is. And I need the name and the designer, pattern name and designer. So I'm going to show you here the ones that I have already and get a paper and pen because you might want to get some of these. Um, there is some awesome patterns here and there's a lot. So you wouldn't be able to remember them all. So grab a paper and pen. And the first one I'm going to show you is Teresa Kogut. And this is my heart is fed. So it's my heart is fed with needle and thread. This was in Patreon, but it also is just a new market release. So I am looking forward to stitching that, except I can say I am not looking forward to stitching that dress, but it's going to be good fill in if I just need, like if I'm camping or something and I just need some mindless stitching, I can do that. So um, I have that one. So this is Lizzie Kate and it's called Good Things. And this was in the freebies at um, my recent retreat. And it says, good things come to those who stitch. And it's just a little baby one. So there will be all different sizes in my collage. This says, um, the frame size is five inches by six and a half. And the stitch count is 84 by 60. So approximate design size, five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So it's really tiny that would probably be a stitch in one day. Okay, um, the next one, can't show you. Can show you part. Primitive Cross Stitcher by Asbury's Echoes. This is the freebie, or not the freebie, the giveaway from last week. Um, so that would be a PDF chart. And the winner of that one uh, the keyword was Rhonda, and the winner is Pamela Smith 6306. Pamela Smith 6306, and that is Primitive Cross Stitcher by Asbury Echoes, and she this pattern is available on Etsy as a PDF. So I'll be doing that one. She has graciously given me that to share. Um, so this one I got at the retreat also, and um, I, someone finished it as a finish and then I purchased it from her. I'm thankful for my daily bread and also for my cross stitch thread. And this is Little House Needleworks giving thanks is what that's called. And it's pretty small. So that was a, a finish at the retreat. Um, this one doesn't say anything about stitching, but it says wool and flax and it's Pineberry Lane. And I'm just, I like it. And because it says wool and flax, I'm going to put it up there with my collage. So, and that one I bought at um, HodgePodge in Strasbourg. And I did contact her and she does ship. So if you're interested in anything that I got there, she does ship. This is also from there, Little House Needleworks, Needlework ABCs. And it's going to be hard to see because it's so tiny, but um, it's got, it says A, B, C, you know, it has the whole alphabet down. And then this, after C, it says crosses. After H, it says hoop. And it has a stitch of a hoop. L is linen, N is needles, uh, S is scissors, and T is thread. And it's got, you know, like um, things for those, if you can see it. So I want to do that one. 
This one, this was in a box that someone sent me, a viewer sent me some things for the, to go through and keep what I want and give away other things. So this will be um, probably a giveaway after I'm finished with it. But it says scissors and threads and it's sew together Jeanette Douglas designs. That one that looks pretty small also. It is um, three and five eighths by three and three quarters. So yeah, that's a small one too. And that'll be a quick stitch. So some of these are just sewing. Um, this is the Sewing Bird by Brenda Gervais. And it is just sewing. I love that one. This was given to me. That's gifted. Now this one, my soul is fed with needle and thread. And this is Abby Rose Designs. And it's from the um, Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine. And I made this and I will insert a picture here. I made it with, um, as a pillow, but I'm gonna make it again, but I'm gonna change the colors. And the pillow that I made, I'm going to put in my Etsy shop for sale, um, because, just because it's just not really the colors that I want, but I'm gonna remake this in different colors and it'll be framed on the wall. So this one, oh, do I not have a cover? Okay, Needleworker's Oath by Teresa Kogut. And I'll show it like, you know, it has a stitchy girl and her hand is raised that she's sewing, saying her oath. And I promise to keep needlework in my hoop and try with all my heart to stitch daily. Um, this was a freebie actually, I think, after market. But I'm gonna say, because I don't use a hoop, I promise to keep needlework in my hand and try with all my heart to stitch daily. So that one, and that dress might not be as bad because it's lined, it's not just a solid color. Um, this one is was a freebie and we were told not to share the design so I can't show it to you, but it's um, the Primrose Cottage sent out an email to everyone on their email list with all the freebies from market and it was on there. So it's the Mindful Needle Designs and it's called Itchin' to be Stitchin'. Please do not share on social media. So I can't share it to you, but it's 61 by 44 stitch count and it just says Stitchin', Itchin' to be Stitchin' and it has a pair of scissors, three spools and a needle and some X's. So I'll be doing that one. Um, now this, I stitch, that's what I do. And again, that dress, but it's it's made kind of like a quilt, so that'll break it up. It won't just be steady stitching. Uh, stitching Sister Stitcher. Sister Stitcher. I'm thinking about that one. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking about it. And it is um, from the Primitive Hair. It must be a freebie from her website. And then, let me see what this is. This was, I think this was a freebie during COVID. And it's with thy needle on thread, let's stay home and stitch. And I'm just gonna show that briefly. And I, cause I stay home a lot. So I will be doing that one. Um, this one was gifted to me. Heart and hand, my soul is fed with needle and thread, and that's a small little one. Tiny little thing. It is stitch count. Well, it says design size is three by three. So yeah, it's small. This one I bought at Cross Stitch and Crafts, which is my LNS in Johnson City, Tennessee. And they ship also, and it's Little House Needleworks, the sampler lady. And it says needleworker at the top. And then it says thread, linen, pins on each side. And then the alphabet is in her dress. And Little House Needleworks. This one was a freebie. I think it was in a newsletter. It's heart and hand, do what you love. 
and then it says stitch underneath it. I think that was a freebie in a newsletter. And this is the camping stitcher. When she first started designing last year, she did this one. This might have been her first one. And I grabbed it, but I have not stitched it yet. It's called Stitcher's Prayer. Now I sit down in my chair, my needle floss and fabric there. I stitch and calm my busy mind whenever I can find the time. And that's the camping stitcher, and she is on Etsy. You can get that there. She also has a Facebook group and a floss tube. So check her out. This one I think I bought, I might have bought this at Stitches Unlimited last year. Little House Needleworks, it's called Needle Worker. Love that one too. I have a frame that I think is going to work for that, and it's barn wood, so I need to do that one with Super Prim. And this is the Nebby Needle. Now, she just, um, this was from last year, I think, 2022. The Nebby Needle um, Bonnie also goes to the same cross stitch store that I do, is her LNS. So she is local here, and it says, uh, My Calling. My cross stitch is calling and I must go to stitch the alphabet all in a row. I love that one. These cute sayings. I don't, I don't know how I'll finish that one. This one, let me see. I don't, oh, this is not Forgotten Farm. Okay, so this must be a freebie. I am a primitive stitching sister. And that was not Forgotten Farm. I don't have a picture of that one. And this one my friend Eva just gave me at the retreat. So there's a few on here I will be doing. The Keeper of the Pins by Brenda Gervais. And I'm sure you all are familiar with this. Or I think I caught myself doing it. <laughs> you know, a lot of times I watch Fluss, Fluss Tube, and they're like, well, everybody watches this one. Or I'm sure you all have heard of this one. And I'm thinking, well, I have it, and I didn't. And, you know, and who doesn't like this? Well, me, I don't like it. You know, different things that they say. And I just caught myself doing that. Like, I'm sure you all have seen this, but maybe you haven't. So, sorry about that. Anyway, um, there is the, the sewing bird here I will be doing. My soul is fed with needle and thread I will be doing. Um, and then this one has the lady with the spools. See if there's a bigger picture inside. Those are probably the ones that I will do. Oh, it's just a little picture. But maybe it's bigger than the other one. You can see it. Yeah, so those are probably the ones I will do out of that. Um, so this one was in the freebies at my retreat. I love going through the freebies. And every stitch sampler. Designed by Sandra Cozzolino, C-O-Z-Z-O-L-I-N-O. -Z -Z and this is from 2012. It says, every stitch I make, every break I take relieves my stress and I feel great. And then you put your name and the date on it. So I will be doing that one. That might be a little complicated more so than the other ones that I've done. I'm looking at that border and I'm saying, aha, uh -huh, so I can do it. You can do it, Doreen. You know, that little engine that could with that border. It looks a little challenging, but I can do it. Or I could put a different border on it that's more simple. And then this one will be the center. So, um, watching other um, floss tubers, I saw a Stitcher's Garden, Tiny Modernist, a Stitcher's Garden, from, this was on Etsy, I saw it, Stitcher's Garden from Sub Rosa Designs, 
And then I was watching a floss tube and I'm going to have to look up who it was because I, it was the first time I watched them, but I will put it across the bottom here because I don't remember the name, but I want you to go check them out. Um, and they showed two that I wrote down because I really liked them. The Stitcher's Alphabet from the Scarlet House and Americana Blue from October House Fiber Arts. Now, Americana Blue is sewing stuff. It doesn't say anything about stitching, but it's a gorgeous blue pattern. And I'll try to insert pictures here of these as I tell you them so you know what they look like. But those are ones that I want to get. Um, I checked with my LNS on the Stitcher's Garden by Tiny Modernist, and they don't have it. They had it, but they sold out. So I don't know if she's going to be getting more. If she does, I will go get it. Um, but so what I need you to do is in the comments, tell me any others that you know of that will fit in with this theme that I don't have yet, or that is not on my, this, these four that are on my list. So um, help me out here. I know this is a lot. I know it's going to take me a while to do it, to get through all those, but some of them are really small. And this is, you know, my goal to get that wall filled up, except, you know, I'm on the waiting list for another apartment um, to move. And I have no clue when that's going to happen. They said one to two years. I've been on the list since December. And um, I talked to a lady the other day over there and she said they told her the same thing, one to two years. And it took her nine months. So I've already been on it for five months, four or five months. So, um, you know, I'm halfway there. So I could get this all done and everything all displayed on the wall. And then I get the phone call that I can move. So, um, you know, I just have to plan as if I'm here. <laughs> so, but that's in the back of my mind. Like, what if you get all this done and then you move, then you have to redo it all, but that's okay. So, um, and this one, you know, like you see people say my needle's on fire. You know, I did get this done in one night, plus two more strangles that I took out that now I wish I didn't. Light is so different during the day. The lighting is so different than sitting there with a magnifying light shining down. It kind of puts that like a sheen on the thread. And I think that's what I was seeing. And it was from the light because obviously, I mean, I'm looking at this now and even what's showing up on my phone, it looks fine. And so I will restitch those triangles that I took out last night. Um, so tell me in the comments, what patterns do you have or what patterns do you know of that are stitch related that would go with this theme and go on my wall? And so again, I need contact from Kathy Newhart, 6738 for the spring pattern and Pamela Smith, 6306 for the cross, primitive cross stitcher pattern. And the primitive cross stitcher, you don't have to put the word primitive in there. You could just put cross stitch, cross stitcher and make a nice little pillow for a dough bowl or something, or just the shelf sitter. So there's, you know, change it up. Some, you know, some of these, like this one right here is not primitive at all, but when I'm done with it, it will be. Um, and I would just change the colors because I don't like bright colors. So I'll change it out. But that border, <laughs> I'm looking at that border, like that border scares me. So um, I may be changing that. But anyway, that may be one of those things that, you know, you do the, um, the whip, the, the pattern whip, in case you're new, um, is work in progress. So it may be one of those ones that I have one large one going and then do some smalls at the same time if I need a break from it. And that might be um, a good one for that. Or the Teresa Kogut ones with the dress. So I will see you all. Hope you have a great week. I will be camping next weekend. So um, my floss tube may not post until the following Monday um, because I'm going camping the first trip with my vintage camper friends. And uh, I'll see you when I get back. Bye, everybody. Have a blessed day and a blessed week.